All right, we're sitting here on Main Street, and the first place we come to today is an organ. What's the name of your 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 rock and uh, bracelets? Rock and bracelets. Where are you all from? Um, here. here in hometown for Royal. And, and for Royal, there you go. You you guys must be young entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are. So what's what are you selling here at the table? Uh, rope band, mainly bracelets. rope band bracelets. We um, have earrings over there, and we have a couple. Well, let me pull out here and let's take a look at what you got on the board here. What kind of prices were you getting on these? So. These ones, mediums are 275, smalls are 175, and larges are 375. And earrings normally stay around the two dollar range, and bracelets normally never go above seven dollars. And you make all these yourself? Um, Maybe most the of them. Bands. Yes. Some of these, when they break, we fix them. But we've had people make these for us. And oh, okay. Let us sell them. All right. So where do you go to school here in Front Royal? Yes. Where mm -hmm. do you go to school? Um, I go to Warren. Um, Warren here what? We County Middle School. Oh, the middle school. I yeah. thought maybe you were in high school. Um, I'm homeschooling this year. You are? So you're going to be a virtual student or a homeschool student? Uh, virtual. Virtual. K-12. What grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade. All right. So uh, are you looking forward to virtual education? Not sure. It's my first time doing this other than um, when school got turned, uh, shut down. Well, it's going to be different. Uh, believe me, I know. Are you going to be are you going to be disciplined enough to do that? Should be able to. All right. And what's your name again? Daniel. Daniel. Well, you guys are young entrepreneurs, and it's great. So, how's the sales been today? Pretty good. Good. Would you like to know how much we made? Today? Well, yeah. Tell me. Today we have made fifty-four dollars. Fifty-four dollars. And we've only been up for three weekends, and altogether we've made hundred and sixty. What are you going to do with all that money? We split it evenly between me and him and one of our other teammates, but she's not here right now. Well, there she's, you go. She, um, she said she come come out. Okay. Usually we uh, sit down right here about every weekend. Uh -huh. yeah. If we're not here, it means we couldn't be able to, but we might come out later. And we do come down sometimes on the weekdays. All right. So what do you think of this closing the street? Is it cool tonight? Look at all the people out. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very good. I'm, my favorite. So this is our week. mascot. Did you win anything at the games? This uh, and two other guys down here. So so you won something? Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, what do you think? What do you think of Crazy Willie? Oh, he's, he's really nice. He's, he's actually, actually the one who lets us do this. Yeah, we're You're right in front of his place. Him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations on all Thank your, you. all the big money you're making, and we'll catch you next 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 right, weekend. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, we're outside of uh, right in front of CNC Frozen Treats, and we're in front of the uh, Fort Valley Nuts Company. We were here earlier today, yes. and Willie uh, was really saying how great everything was. Yeah. Well, Oh, there he is. He's, he's, he's hawking the bean bag here. So tell us a little bit about the Fort Valley Nut Company. Okay, so we make um, roasted almonds, pecans, cashews, and we roast them in cinnamon, vanilla, and sugar. And um, we, we have small and large bags. So $5 for the small, uh, 10 for the large. So Are you planning to come out here every weekend? Um, I know of next weekend, so we'll be for back sure? next weekend. Right, I heard it's going to be a big big event next weekend. Yeah, so we'll be back. All right, how's it gone for you today? It's decent. Um, not worth bad. Your, worth your time to come? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, well, we'll see you next weekend. Tell we'll, us your name. We'll see that. My name's Jim uh, right. Asbridge, and my wife, Tracy, is down there. Do you have a website or a Facebook page? We sure don't, not oh. this time. But. Well, we're going to have to help you out. Okay. All right, thanks again. Thanks. Here, you throw a couple more. You throw a couple more. Well, here's Willie and, and Craig Laird. There you go. Oh, right. Yes. Woo! So who's your partner there, Craig? You this get is to Landon. Win a prize. Huh? This is Landon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How old are you, Landon? Six. He's six. Yeah. He's six. Yes. So he's, you've been he's enjoying been one of my crazy today? customers. So what do you think of this, Craig? Oh, this is wonderful. We've had lots of people from all over come out. We're looking to have another good weekend next Saturday. Yeah, we heard some great things. Got it's gonna. Willie here told us earlier about the, the things that were planned. Any new changes to that? The um, artisans are coming out in force, I hear. The what? The artisans. Oh yes, we're gonna. The, at least 16 artists are gonna be set up in front of shops along Main Street. Well, so we're really gonna put the pennants up again. We're gonna make it a nice festive atmosphere. Well, it's really good this evening here. We're gonna walk down the street. Okay. See who else we can talk to. Yes, sir. You're okay. still Th in thank form. You. I'm still in form. Come on down. We're here till nine o'clock. Get some ice cream, win some prizes. All we're right. fixing to go over here with Landon well, and let okay. him pick a prize. Well, Landon, Landon, let's go see what you won. We're gonna follow Landon over here and see how he did. How many tickets did he get? He got up to twenty-five. Wow! 
So, Landon, you can have anything from here. You can get, you can trade them in and get some couple of different prizes. You want some small ones or some beanie babies? Which one you think you want? Yes. Yeah. I knew it. All right. Show us so, so, show, show, show the audience there what you want. Yeah. All right, Landon. Way to go. Like smells like chocolate. Smells like chocolate. Okay. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here. So I am doing spray paint street art on poster board. Um, I use just the paint, rags, uh, paint scrapers to carve out the shapes of trees and to create bushes. It's amazing how what you can do with a can of spray paint. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You've done quite a few of these things around town, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've been doing this um, at least out here for events since I was 15. Right. Um, but I learned sometime around my ninth grade year in high school how to do it by watching YouTube videos. I was going to say, YouTube videos. Isn't, yeah, that, YouTube isn't that how videos. it works? Mm -hmm. That is indeed. Tell us your name again. Jackie. And you go by... Just Jackie. Jackie? Jackie? I thought it was like some initials, Jay-Z, something. Or... Nah. I signed everything. Uh, JR. My yeah. murals all say JR. That's <laughs> okay, why. Okay, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, some of the business owners so told me that. So it's spray paint by Jackie. <laughs> yeah. I think I spoke to your mother or, or one of your <laughs> fans. Yeah, <laughs> probably my mom. That's her over there. Oh, yeah. She's, she's she was saying great that. things about you. Oh, of course. <laughs> she's uh, my are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> yeah. So how's the, how's the uh, festival today? It's really nice. I'm glad we were able to do it. Are you going to come next weekend? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be here next weekend. Oh, you're going to be one of the artisans. Store. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Where are you going to set up at? Do you know? The trail store down okay. there. Um, right. I did the mural. Uh, that's, that's right. On, on the, the wall. That's right. It's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. So I talked to right Charlie. He's going to have you down there. Yep. All right, Jackie. Appreciate it. We'll see you next weekend. For sure. I'll see you then. The All right, we're in front of the white picket fence. Who, come on, just get one of them youngins up on that horse and show how it works. There you go. I had a horse like this when I was little. So oh, and it is a big horse. I got horse. Well, tell us who you are. Too. Say hi, I'm Lydia. Are you having fun? What do you think of this festival on Main Street? Actually, we just started walking down the street and wandered here, so and it's really it's the first fun. thing that got your attention? Yes, we just wandered by, we're just going on a walk, and this is where we came from. So it's okay. fun living in town, you never know what you expect well, of a walk. next weekend another big event, too. Oh, good, we like events, we gotta get out of here. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, we're walking the street here at the festival, so uh, we're with, uh, I know who you are, so tell us who you are, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy with you? I'm a clown. This is my clown. Uh, we've, heard, we've heard that word be used before, haven't we? <laughs> I don't know what you all talked about before I got here. Well, we were riding the horse. Oh, wow. I, I wasn't fun. riding the oh. horse, uh, you know, but uh, uh, there was the little ones on there, and they love it. They think it's great. That's it, the first it's thing. the best, the best horse ever. You it's don't very have to gentle, feed it. isn't it? Right? You don't have to feed it. You don't have to like do much with it. You don't have to really clean up after it. It plays up sometimes. Actually, things. when it poops on the sidewalk, it yeah, can be you got to keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the plan for tomorrow and next weekend? Oh, good lord! Uh, tomorrow, probably, hopefully, more of the same. I'm. I'm You're gonna not have your sure. horse out of the corral. We will have the horse yeah. out of the corral. Yeah, he'll be next, well fed. Yeah, bail ahead. Next, next week, he's gonna, gonna make another appearance go. because we're doing a farm yes. theme. So he'll be here again. All right. um, we've, we've invited everybody to come down, take a picture, ride on the horse because you're gonna never going to get that chance I'm going to turn again. the camera around here a little bit. We're going to point it at that horse that you're talking about. We were just filming that, and I'll zoom in here. That is some that is some horse. Uh, where in the world did you get that thing at? Uh, uh, we, we have our contacts. You have some horse sources. Horse sources, yeah. <laughs> We've got a matching one that is a regular size horse made in the same style, actually. Oh, there you yeah. go. All yeah. right. Well, we'll, come, we'll talk to you uh, tomorrow or next week for sure. Yeah. Awesome. I think That'd so. be great. Thank okay. you. All right, we're on Main Street, right in front of the gazebo, and with me is Miss Annie. Annie, tell us about yourself and what do you do here on Main Street? Um, I'm the Jig and Jive Dance Studio at the end of Main Street, across from LDs. And you're still open? I am very much open. I've seen the kids in the window this afternoon. We are. The full season starts September 8th, right after Labor Day. Um, and we have sample classes on Wednesday, so if you see a bunch of kids out dancing, that's what's going on. And you have openings? 
A few, not many. A few. So if anybody's interested in that jump, or that jump and jive and Irish jig, they need to get hold of you right away. And swing dance and flamenco. And we have Zumba right now. I don't know for how long. And what else do we have? Yeah, swing and well, Irish and you know, flamenco. We'll have a disclaimer. She tried to teach me to dance, so. <laughs> no comment from her, right? You should come dance in our parking lot. I know. Well, who are these? Are these part of your brood here? Where's, where's, uh, -oh. Where's uh oh I can't think of the you name now. Remember. I can't think of it. it's the it's the little one I'm you sure. Could have been there with Q, I think, That's right? That's Q and O Z and O X and oh, okay. all... there's X, there's Q. <laughs> <laughs> well what do you think of all this on Main Street? Do you guys like this? I love it. I love having the street closed. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You have, I see you've been walking down the street, or you headed out, or you. We are now heading out. We have to head to my son's picnic. Well, there but you go. My goal is to get dancers out here eventually. Right, there you go. Next weekend, I hear it's going to be big. When the season starts, yeah. Oh, a lot of stuff going on. All right, thanks, Danny. You're welcome. Take care. We continue up Main Street, and here with his uh, Betty Showers. Who's this guy next to you? And this is my husband, Steve. Long lost. <laughs> Well, what's that on your shirt there, Betty? It looks like you're running for office. I am. I'm running for town council here in Front Royal. Well, that's great. Tell us uh, uh, the election, November 3rd. You and a bunch of other of us. We, there we'll is. We'll have to give a disclaimer. I'm running, too. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that. What do you think of the streets closing? There's a lot of activity tonight. I think it's wonderful having all this activity on the street. It's great. It brings in a lot of uh, tourists and business for the, for the uh, community. I was talking to some motorcyclists this afternoon. There was several of them. They come up from Maryland. They think it's great. Ah. They loved it. They loved oh, good. it. Good. The weather was good, and everybody, uh, you know, enjoyed themselves. I see uh, Mr. John's over there, and he got his band playing. There's a lot of activity, a lot of people there is. Now walking up. So there is. We're we going to continue got here. on down Main Street, Betty. And okay. Betty is also the proprietor of Few Cell Florist. Yes. So we have to give you a plug there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Well, we will be seeing you on Main Street then. <laughs> We got a little audience tonight, a lot yeah. of activity. Yeah, might step up. What do you think of this closing the Main Street? Well, I think they did what they want to do, try something new, you know. Yeah. But you, they left me in a little area here so the people could come down to the barbershop. Yeah. So they pleased me <laughs> and the ladies next door. Yeah, I see they changed it. It used to go down here by the beer museum and now they've moved it so a little bit. So now I can still play on the street. That's right, you can still play on the street. No yeah, it's my first love, so. <laughs> You, I, I'm in love with it. If you know. no one else, you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So. All right, we appreciate it doing it. I can hear you up and down the street. People seem to be enjoying it. Good. We're a family show. That's it. From the heart. Bless his heart. <laughs> well, where are you from? Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And you're just down here for the weekend? Yep, just for the weekend. Well, are you enjoying yourself so far? Very much so. You're going to get a little wet there. You're like me. We don't have much on top there to <laughs> just absorb the rain, do we? What's your names? Uh, Jim Matthews and Cindy Carruthers. All right. This sounds like a, a, a date weekend here. Is that what? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're just a little bit more than a date. Maybe yeah. Eight years. Oh, only eight? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm we're, glad you came down and enjoy yourself here in Front Royal. We really appreciate you guys. You're welcome. Enjoying yourself. Where, where enjoy. Where are we staying, honey? We have to, we have to plug the Woodard. The Woodard oh, House. Oh, yeah. Up on the hill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. What a wonderful place. That yeah, is. It's great. It is. How'd you find it? How did we find it? You found it on the, on the web, didn't you? Yeah, found it on the internet, yo. We've been going Pens there for years. Yeah. Oh, it's great. So Front Royal's not new to you? No. Okay, no, he has relatives here. Actually, my family is from this area. Oh, well. They were known for two things back in the day. Raising hogs and making moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys coming down. All right. Enjoy.
Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. You can check it out on theroyalexaminer.com. You'll see yourself on there. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're sitting outside of the Soul Mountain Restaurant. I see you just finished your meal. Tell us what you had. So we had wings just as appetizers, just enjoying some drinks and enjoying the shutting down of Main Street. Yeah. Are you from Front Royal? We live just outside of town, yes. Just outside of town. So you're a Warren County We're a Warren resident. County. We are, Linden. Yes. So you're enjoying the street closures on the weekends? We have loved it. We yes. have loved it. Hopefully they're going to keep that up through the fall and, you know, maybe start it up again in the yeah, spring. Yeah. You know, uh, next weekend, another big activity, planning an artisan trail, we're going to have a so far, about 16 artists lined up on the sidewalk doing nice. craft. And is the coolest tight? thing is a chainsaw yeah. sculpture. Oh, well, that's okay. kind of cool. They'll make some bears, probably. Yeah, make some yeah. bears and you know, <laughs> eagles and all sorts of things. Well, we're glad you're enjoying it, supporting our local businesses. Soul Mountain, great place. Yeah, it is great. We, we only, don't tell Gary because it's not. No, no, he'll go to his head. <laughs> he'll go to his head. <laughs> John, you're the uh, house band for the Royal Spice? Exactly. Yes. That's right. We enjoy every, yourself. Uh, every Friday and Saturday for about a half hour, about 6 to 6.30. You, you, you play for food? Is that is how it works? Food and tips. <laughs> <laughs> you do a great job. And then I go right down, a half hour later, I go down to, uh, don't tell me the name of it, Try Time. Oh, uh, there you go. In the back garden. Good to see you, John. Good to see you. Man. Hi. Well, Kimmy, let's talk about your duck pond here. So we are we have a duck pond uh, matching game and our prizes are a little quacky, lots of ducks. I, I see you're wearing a 2018 zombie walk t-shirt. You know we have the new ones of 2020 available. I can't wait to get mine. Well that's right, get it on order, worldexaminer.com, you can do that. So tell us how the game works here. So you pick a number and then you have to find its match. So that's the one. And then I'd have to find the matching one to go with it. And the match will have a star on the bottom. Seven. This two. game seems like it's rigged. <laughs> oh, it's here somewhere. There's a four. Oh, well, there there's it is. a one. And so we're, we're going to win one of the duckies. And then you win a duck. A right. surfer dude. It sounds like a sounds like a plan. It yeah. Is. Or you can get a self inking stamp. Or well, we have carnival stamps. Well, yeah. how, so how's it gone today? Are you enjoying yourself? Absolutely. What it's do you think great. of all this? I think this is great. It's been a great turnout. There's been a lot of people. We're having lots of fun. What about next weekend? Are you planning to do something as well? Next weekend we're not going to be here. We have other plans, but the weekend after we will be back with there. the duck pond again. Well, there you go. We appreciate it. Let's see. You got some other of uh, 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 patrons here. Yes. Yeah. Well, who hi. is this? This is my lovely granddaughter. Uh -huh. Her mother, Liz. Hello, Liz. Hi. This is my Later. granddaughter, Kenzie. Let's, let's get them all in the family here. There you go. And then my grandson's running around somewhere. And that's my Mike son on the skateboard. Well, i seen this. Never too old to skateboard, are you? Never. Are you good on that thing? Nope. Have you, you fall down and get hurt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I just try not to fall down, but it happens. All right. We're outside of the Down Home Market. Downtown Market. Oh, excuse me. I said that. <laughs> down Home. Down. That's a Down Home Bakery. Yes. In the Downtown Market. You're in the old Kibler Furniture Building. Yes. You guys have done a tremendous job remodeling this thing. It's just so cool looking. And I know you've had a hard time with Cynthia here to make it look good. Yes. Yeah, so you know, we do what we can, but Cynthia, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan for, uh, well, today you've got your crafts and things out here, but really next weekend is really the big thing that yes. you wanted to talk about a little bit. So yes. tell ne us a little bit about that. All right. Next weekend, um, Saturday the 29th from 3 to 7, we're having an art walk. It's going to be at least 15, close to 20 artists that are going to be set up along the street. Um, we'll have anything. We'll have everything from wood carving artists to um, 
What else? Paint? No, uh, spray paint. paint. I spray see paint. Jackie down there. She's yes. She'll be one paint. of our artists she next really weekend. Talented. Isn't she? She's awesome. So we'll have Jackie and we'll actually have one other um, artist that'll be doing the same, similar to what Jackie does. So we're pretty excited about that. A lot of painters, drawlers. So we're just asking the community to come out and check out the artists and um, watch and see what they do and let them know that, hey, you support the local art. And that goes on next Saturday? Next Saturday. From 5 to 9? From 3 to 7. Hmm. Okay. Yes. So, so tell us what's going on here. For the cat's sake. What Hi. Is, what's that all about? So For the Cat's Sake is an organization that's run out of Flip Hill, Virginia. And we rescue animals. We TNR, which is Trap, Neuter, and Release. And then sometimes we keep them and we adopt them to people. And because of COVID, all the animal shelters were closed and we are very low on funds. Right. So we're here today to raise money and awareness for our organization. And then you have face masks? Yeah, we've been selling some face masks, such as this one that says, how many cats is too many. They're uh, double-sided and we're raising money with them and baked goods and we've got blankets and we've been doing pretty good today. So right. we're gonna be here till seven o'clock. Okay, and uh, next weekend? Um, no, we're not going to be here next weekend, but we will be here in the future. All right. And you enjoy this closing the Main Street now? Yes. Yes. Yes, we really do. This was great. It was nice to meet the community that we work so hard to help. All right. And you have a website we can go to to find out more about you? Definitely. ForTheCatsSake.org. And we also have a Facebook page. Well, you can't miss that. ForTheCatsSake.org. That That's ought to be it. easy. <laughs> All right. Nice. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you so Thank you. much. I'm uh, selling uh, gemstones, jewelry, and um, wire wrap, handmade wire wrap jewelry. Just yes. stuff you make yourself? Uh, no, I'm a rock collector. Oh, you're so you're you're, you're I, the source. I'm a I'm a curator. Yes. There you go. Yes, uh, but uh, uh, we've done fantastic today on Main Street, and, and I hope this continues. You like it? I've had a very very good day. Well, that's good. Yes, you got some really beautiful good. collections here. Some jewelry some rings and yes. and necklace things here I want to try to zoom in on some of this here real quick yeah try to get a picture of it check out the showcase in the middle oh yes in the middle here some really nice what are these things like pins like brooches or they're uh pendants, pendants. like what i'm wearing oh yeah. round for you for like yeah. a necklace thing. yes yes All right. well good thanks for talking to us we appreciate it hey, hope thank we, you for talking you do to like me. this shutdown of the main street you think it's a good yes, idea absolutely it's a wonderful idea are you from around here yes sir um not i'm born i was born in alexandria but oh, we, uh, won't, we won't tell i grew anybody. up here k through five uh, i went to school here k through five All right, so, we're glad you're yeah. we're glad you're here yeah thank you i appreciate it Tell, so tell us who you are and what you're doing here. I am Jessica Dean. I'm with Real Estate uh, Remax Real Estate Connections here in town. And Arlene asked me to set up a little booth. So my girls are giving tattoos, giving stickers, and giving away some water. These look like some of those tattoos that'll come off. Yes, they're so not permanent. They're, they're, they're mob safe, right? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> so how's the result? How's it been going today? Good. It's going well. We've had a couple customers, but we're just wanting to give back to the community. Sure. So. Well, tell us a little bit about the real estate business. In oh, it's town. amazing. It's booming. Isn't it, it is booming, and lots of people are coming out. They want homesteads. They want, um, you know, a little bit of space in between. And so we are looking for listings, new listings. It's, there are hardly any listed right now. All right. They want grass to cut. I yes. Mean, uh, <laughs> yes, they do. And Some of us want to have less grass to cut. You know? Yeah. And we're loving, uh, we're loving um, Main Street being a pedestrian area right now so that we can get out and people can come back to work, eat on yeah, Main we, Street. We'll push the camera down the street here. There is a lot of people out on the street this evening. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? It is. It's good to kind of get out and get away. People are social distancing, but there's a lot of family, and mm -hmm. and uh, it's working out. I think it it's is. great. Yeah. Well, Jessica, we appreciate you. Hope everything's good at the real estate business. Thank you so much. Good. Okay, so we have we, we have one. kind of a new one. I have a purple silk spun by thousands of magical purple silkworms. As a matter of fact, would you take a look? Check it out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Make sure that it's real magical silk. Do anything but blow your nose on it. Don't do that. Make sure. Okay. <laughs> but does that look like real silk to you? Okay. Well, watch carefully. We'll take this magical purple silk and we'll place it in here. We're going to try our best to make some magic happen. Now, I need you guys to help me out. What I'd like you to do, everybody wiggle your fingers toward my hand. So everybody wiggle. Okay, very good. 
and keep wiggling and watch. Wiggle and watch and wiggle. Where did it go, guys? Wait, I think she's got some magic behind, oh, you, behind your ear. Right there. And everybody help me out. Everybody wiggle toward my hand. So everybody wiggle and watch and wiggle and watch. Whoa. You guys are amazing. How did you guys do that? Let's give everybody a big round of applause. Make some noise. Well, Kevin, right. we're going to put this on slow motion and okay. figure out how to uh, do it. I had a feeling you might try that, Mike. <laughs> well, very good. Guys, so what do you think of all the Main Street here? Look at the activity. We've I love it. People. Yeah, no, we've got a lot of people, and I think it's great, and it's a great way to escape, as I call it, the Corona apocalypse. Yes. And we can actually keep some business going and, uh, you know, have happy people and, and make money. And that's a good thing, right? That that's combination. Right. So I'm really applauding the town of Front Royal, and I'm a Front Royal resident for like ever, and I'm really applauding them for moving forward and getting some things going and having some fun. All right. So you're, you, you think closing it down is work? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's a great idea, uh, and you know, it's uh, it's just it's it's allowing businesses to do their thing and people to come out and have fun. People are starving to have fun. Uh, safely, and it's it's a great thing. So. Well, we appreciate it, Kevin. Thank uh, you. Thanks, Mike. Now we have the ping pong game in the can. You win. Win prizes. Ooh. And then we have our cornhole over here. The cornhole with the the juggling. Oh, I seen that. That's about how good I would do. Yeah. Yes. That's how good we are. Oh, you got it. All right. Now, who's this lady beside you here? This is Lindsay. Lindsay. She's one of your employees. She's one of my employees. Is that works at the leave. Vine and Leaf? Yeah. Yes. Well, I see you over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you What do you think of all this, this Main Street closing and things? I think it's pretty cool. Look at the activity we have tonight, Craig. What do you think? I think it's wonderful. We've had so many people down here. And Freeba is, uh, Craig is the fearsome leader of the, <laughs> of the Freeba group, the Front Royal Independent Business Alliance. Uh, yeah. But I think we have a lot of things planned. We try to go out of the, Yay! go out with a bang. Yes, we uh, are. So we have a few more weekends, I guess, before uh, yeah, school and, starts. You know, we're talking about Taste of the Town. We're not sure if we're going to have to cancel it or postpone it a little longer. Right. But uh, that decision should be made before too long. Well, we really appreciate all you guys to have are doing. It sounds like the Absolutely. kids at least are having fun. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. We've got Bozo the Clown over here. <laughs> What's left of him. All right. And Dennis the Menace. And Dennis the Menace with him, yes. All right. Thanks again, Craig. Okay, you're welcome. Look forward. All right, we're here talking to Arlene Link. Arlene, uh, where are you from? And tell us what's going on. Hi, I'm here from Front Royal. Uh, we have Explore Art and Clay and, at the Kiln Doctors. And this weekend we are sponsoring the movie The Greatest Showman here down on Main Street. You'll come, you'll come down and watch it under the stars tonight. Hopefully the rain holds off. Uh, we've invited all the businesses to come down and make it a carnival circus atmosphere and it's exciting to see so many businesses involved and everybody coming down here. Yeah, the activity so. night's really good. This is probably one of our better yes. uh, Saturdays here uh, in a long time. I've been here since about 2 o'clock and we've had a constant flow of people coming through from all over. Well, I've just met some people that were from Pennsylvania and yes. some from Maryland. They That's my home Riverside. state. <laughs> yes. And everything, everybody seems to be enjoying it. Yes. And then uh, next weekend we got the art walk. So come on down to Main Street for that. So what do we got on the table here? I seem like okay. you got some of your wares. This is some of our bisque ware. Uh, we have a paint your own pottery part of our store where you can come in and pick out a piece and paint it in the store. Or you can get a to-go kit where you can get the glazes or the uh, paints to take home and paint in your leisure. If you're visiting a campground, this is a great activity to keep the kids busy during a rainy day. Uh, we also do play classes and workshops, wheel throwing. If you want to get the ghost experience of throwing on the oh, wheel, yes, yes. we do that. Now this bisque, you don't need to fire it, do you? Uh, if you're going to put the glaze on, you do. Okay. But uh, we have acrylic paints that you can paint them with. And that way you just take it home and paint it and you get to keep it. As soon as it's dry, it's ready to go? It's ready to go. Oh, I see. This yes. is your daughter, isn't she? This is Miss Crystal. What are you wearing there? Oh, it's my tutu. We had Everyone a... has to have a tutu. Look at <laughs> yes. that. No matter what age you are. We all have to dress up. But we had all the grandkids dressed up in different costumes, but they kind of got tired and took them off. So. Well, I see this other yep. costume you have here. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm always in costume. Th this That's is right. the kiln doctor. It's important. Somebody's this is my other half. half. This is Mike Swagger. He's the kiln doctor, and uh, he fixes pottery equipment and uh, services all our schools. So with COVID, his our part that part of the business has been shut down completely. So we were trying to create things yeah. to help yeah. other businesses as well as ourselves like right now. <laughs> so and this is my other daughter and her boyfriend. Hi. We're the Lyman Lion Tamer and the Knife Thrower. Knife Thrower. Yeah, this is Holly and Zach. So you're so. enjoying yourself? Yep, oh, yeah. of course, Wait, always. Well, like you said, I think the, the evening it's, has turned out really well, Arlene. Yes. Uh, the rain is hitting us a little bit, but yeah, uh, no, it's, it's, it's going to blow over. It's going to last. All but right. if you haven't come Just down time yet. for the movie. Yeah. If you haven't come down yet, put a costume on. Come on down and enjoy the fun. And next weekend? It's the art festival. And that'll be really yes. big thing. Yeah, or the art walk. I'm going to be in front of Anna Reen's store throwing on the wheel. So if you want to see a live demonstration of pottery being thrown, come and, on down. And Mike's going to stand behind you. And do the ghost thing, yeah. I'm going to be, I'll be Patrick Swayze. <laughs> oh, okay. That's going to be hard shoes to fill. <laughs> but yeah, come on down and support your local businesses and, your, and our small town. And Keep Main Street closed. Yeah. There you go. So yes. you're enjoying the closure. Well, yes. you're not even on Main Street. You're on 8th Street. Right. We're down on no, 8th and not. Warren, and we're not on Main Street. Uh, we're here mainly to help promote our business, to let sure. people know that we're here. We've been open. So for businesses from all around Warren County can come down next yes. weekend. Yes. yes. There's no cost? No cost Just at all. Uh, matter of fact, we have several businesses on Main Street tonight that are not from Main Street. We have uh, different... Uh, there's, there's a real jeweler there. There's a jeweler. There. And he said he had a great evening. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's a great way to support your local businesses, there's the small businesses. All right, Arlene, so we appreciate down. everything you do. Thank and you. The hard work you do with Freeba and, yeah. and all the other organizations well, I know you, you dabble with. <laughs> So I get it a little bit of everything, but and our ferry um, just left. Yeah, but it, it's important uh, as small businesses that we work together. We don't have to agree on everything, but if we work together, we can create more events like this, and that's what's important right now, especially during this time. Uh, I, I know there's been several businesses on Main Street that close, uh, and I hate to see businesses close. I want to see them. Uh, the Main Here's Street filled. We want them to thrive, soon. not just survive. Right. There's a new right. one coming soon, and right across yeah, the way here. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, we'll get all through this and, and our Main Street will be one of the places to come to. Everybody will want to come here. So, and we appreciate everything you do too, Mike. Well, you're, you. you're a big supporter of our community and, and our businesses. Getting the word out. Yes. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks, yes. Arlene. Thanks, Thank Mike. You. Thank Take you. Take care. Have a nice night now. Oh, now, you're, uh, we're sitting here. We're outside. Uh, which restaurant are you in tonight? We are in the Tapas and Dino. Oh, yes. That's good. And right next to the Front Royal Brewery. So, you are not from Front Royal, no. so you are from the Washington, D.C. area. Yes. So what made you come to Front Royal? Well, we spent the day at uh, the Ray Caverns, oh, and then great. we went, did the Skyline Drive for the scenic just And you said, it. well, let's see what's in Front Royal. What do you think of this setting outside in the rain and, and having a meal? And, it's well, great. as long as it doesn't start raining harder, it'll yeah. be just fine. No, and the temperature is great, so it's good to oh, be outside. Yes. It's, it's been really hot outside. the last couple of weeks, yeah. and it's this really hot, but this great. is nice. This is great because everybody, you just need to be out and do something. It's uh, you can tell people are having fun, even yeah. a little sprinkle, but I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you all coming out and visiting yeah. our town. <laughs> and come back nice anytime. We will. <laughs> we, this, for? this is for the Royal Examiner. You can see all this. Um, it's our online yeah. Warren County newspaper. It's at royalexaminer.com. Oh, okay. So we'll appreciate that. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Check it out. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. We're, we're, we're outside the Front Royal Brewery, and we have a group of people. Now, where are you all from? We are from right here in Front Royal. Oh, you're a, you're a born and bred right here in Front Royal. Huh? <laughs> well, I was, I'm actually from Luray, which is south of here. But yeah, we won't talk about Luray. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to. So, uh, what do you think of this sitting outside on a Saturday evening in the rain? I think it's, it's awesome. It's nice. It's great. great. Nice? Yeah. Yeah. I love the Main uh, Street started doing this. You like, uh, you like it closed? Yeah. yeah. Well, well <laughs> not necessarily closed, but I think keeping, I feel like after, you know, this innovation of putting people outside on the street and everything, I think it's I think it's a good step, too. Like, I don't think this is a bad thing to do on weekends. Right, right. It's like, I think it would help business. It puts a little bit more of an attraction on our town rather than 
just happen to walk down Main Street, nothing's going on except inside the buildings. Right. It gives a little bit more life. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the weather is held up pretty good. It's raining a little bit right now, but yeah. it'll pass. Some blue sky coming. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Let me, let me put over here. This is like this guy over here now. <laughs> you, you have a lot to say. Not really. Uh, you're just waiting for the beer to come out in the. Pretty much. <laughs> How about you, ladies? I'm from Alabama, and. I'm very impressed with Front Royal for doing this during this whole thing where everybody's closing their businesses and being crippled. Looks like they're not being crippled at all. And I think it's really inspiring. Inspiring. Hopeful. Well, how about you? Are oh, you from around here? Or are you from Alabama we're too? We're from here. We're down here regularly. Okay. And really enjoy it. That's great. Well, we really appreciate you coming to visit us. And then you guys enjoy your evening out here at the Front Royal Brewery. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Isn't this place great? This yeah. place, it is terrific, yep. Booza, we've been following him for years. So we love his food and we're excited he's here on Main Street. Right, he moved out of the gas station. Yes, right. he did. <laughs> so yeah. step up. Well, you know, there's something to be said. A lot of restaurants started gas stations. <laughs> the good ones. <laughs> the good if, ones do. If they know how to cook. Yeah, he does a great job, and I'll tell you what, most of those meals are enough for two people, I think. Yep. Yeah. No, we just nobody's ate them all. nobody's <laughs> going away hu hungry. That's right. So, uh, what do you think of the town closing <laughs> this table. Main Street on the weekend? It should be closed. Idea. And and I'll tell you, my reference is it needs to compete with Winchester because Winchester's got the loud mall, and this is a lot closer to home. Right, right. So, and I think people tonight have really enjoyed it. We've of, had a blast. We've kind of made an event out of it. And, yeah. Uh, yep. In spite of the little bit of sprinkles and rain. Yeah, yeah. How about yeah. some of your friends over here? This all family. All family. <laughs> We're doing a birthday here. It's really good. Well, whose birthday is it? Mom's birthday. Could be me. 39. <laughs> yeah, man. See yeah. how you I got it. How yeah, did you I know? That? I know. 39, it's great. Well, we appreciate I knew we had so much in common. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you all coming down and supporting our local businesses. Thank you. And, uh, Happy I'm, to do I'm it. I'm sure you guys are do it quite often. Yeah. Wish you all the best, <laughs> really. Right. Well, you can check us out on the royalexaminer.com. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Thank, you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Take, Take care. care. All right. Now we're inside the theater. Now, tonight you're going to be setting up outdoor theater. Rick uh, Novak will be out here in the center. So how's it going in? So I see we have people over here buying sodas and popcorn. Yeah, it's uh, it's been picking up. I'd so say. what do you think? Uh, it's exciting. I was uh, I was really sad when we closed down for a long time. So. Did Rick put you back to work? Yeah, sadly. No, <laughs> no I like it. I really do. You, 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 I think I've seen you in here quite often. It's... Uh, yeah, I've been here for seven years. Is that hard to believe? Yeah, I started did when I was ever, 14. Did you ever so. think you were going to like stay here that long? No, but it's uh, it's helped me throughout high school and now throughout college. So oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So what's on the movie tonight? Uh, the Greatest Showman. And that's uh, I noticed that the, uh, the Explore Clay and Kiln Doctor so sponsoring that tonight. Yes, I think it's yes. going to be great. You're going to show it indoors and outdoors. Yes, it's inside and outside. Because right, it might it's sprinkling a little bit outside. Yeah, I hope it doesn't rain. Yes, that'd be great. So uh, business has been uh, pretty good. You guys. Tell us about your seating arrangements. Uh, so we're at 25% capacity, so we're blocking off every other row. Uh, we're sanitizing after every movie, so and they we're doing just, reserve seating. And you can too. do reserve seating, so you know exactly where you're going to sit. You yep. can look right online, and, and there's spacing between all the it seats. It blocks uh, two seats automatically when you purchase tickets. And every other row. So and every other row. So it's pretty, uh, you know, about a social distancing, distancing yeah, as you can good. do. Yeah. So it's great. But I think the movies will come back. I noticed some of the major change started coming back. Uh, this weekend, mm -hmm. so that'll be once the movies start coming in. But you know, these old movies really look good on the big screen. They don't do. They? It's exciting. It's, it's a yeah. lot different. I know you see. Yeah. Oh, I see that on TV, but it's not the same as seeing it on that big. I know that yeah. big screen. Well, who's your partner back here? He's this hiding is, behind yeah. you. This is Glenn. I'm Glenn. How are you? I'm good. How long have you been here, Glenn? Uh, I'm gonna say a couple weeks actually. Oh, you're yeah. a newbie. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're gonna break you in. He yeah. does all the cleaning the bathrooms. Doesn't I know. Yeah. He? Is that his job? <laughs> Well, yeah. we appreciate all you do and help keep our our, our community entertained, and we yeah. appreciate it. Thank all you, right. guys. <laughs> We're inside Mountain Trails. So tell us what you did today. I noticed you had a bear hanging from the... Yeah, we had a little bear tra in, the, in the trapeze and, and with his little partner here. Um, and that's pretty much what we had going on. It's been a quite, kind of an interesting day. Right. Um, it's kind of steady. Um, 
We did business wise, it was fairly good. So So you were pleased with it? I'm pleased with it. We're excited with the amount of people that came up and down Main Street and people walking in and stuff like that. So, so uh, next week you're going to have uh, Jackie in front of your store. Jackie will be here. She's the one that has done the mural outside and for the, here, and she's also has decorated uh, Willie's place. So she'll be down here doing some spray paint art. She is really talented with that spray can. Oh, she is. Yeah. You never um, know it was done with a spray can, I tell Yeah, you. actually, uh, she just repainted our bathrooms, so it's got a real mountain feel, feel to it. So um, so she'll be out front, um, so that should be pretty good for everybody to come see what she's done. Uh, great. Well, tell us a little bit about your store here. Uh, mountain Trails started in Winchester. This is we. This store was brought down here primarily for the AT traffic. We specialize in backpacking and hiking. Um, type of atmosphere. Uh, we have clothing and all the gear you need for getting ready to go out on the trail. Um, the staff has pretty much been experienced as far as hiking and backpacking, so if you have questions about any of that sort of stuff, we can be more than happy to help you. And if you're a backyard camper, you have things for that? We too? have that too. I've got some family camping tents and we've got some other stuff for you. And Your store is packed. Yeah, <laughs> with, stuff. <laughs> with stuff. But you have everything. You name yeah, it, you've got yeah. it. Uh, pretty much. From boots, socks, pants, shirts, your backpacks, your sleeping pads, cookware, food. So are hammocks. you seeing uh, the trail traffic drop off, or is it still pretty steady? Um, the trail traffic this year was pretty much not a, not a event. Um, didn't really happen uh, because the ATC basically closed the trail. Oh. So, of the 400 plus hikers we normally had come through last year, we were down to about 150 so far this year. The hardcore. The hardcore. The people that actually were just flying through the, the parks and stuff like that because they were closed. Right. But, um, yeah, so... Well, we're going to plan for bigger and better things. Yes. So, so for, next weekend will be a really good thing of the, with all the artisans. And yeah, with artisans. Drive traffic downtown again. It's going to be good. Uh, matter of fact, one of our employees is going to be also one of the artisans out here. And so she's got some pictures of dogs and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I mean, we appreciate your, you uh, bringing your business to Front Royal and Main Street. Oh, we Street. have a great time and here. you have a beautiful store. And, oh, yeah. Uh, the Barnharts have did a great job on oh, they have. remodeling all these spaces here on uh, the bakery. And you yeah. Yeah, and it's just great. Yeah, we've had a blast. So closing Main Street's been a good thing for you. It has. Uh, people have come in, um, especially when the uh, brewery has seating out front, because while they're waiting for food, they come up and visit us, and you know we want them to be really busy so they can come over here. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. That's right. Um, and then when the band's playing out front, uh, people come in and stuff sure. like that. That's great. That's basically when people are just walking around. Uh, we've well, you, been, you can't help but look in the door and see something in there. There's something in there I want. Right. Um, the other thing, too, is like when there's traffic down here, driving traffic, they just go by. Right. Uh, we still get here. We still hear it every day where people are saying, well, how long have you been here? Well, we've been at this location for three years now. Right. So well, They tell me that, too. I've been there 40 years. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't know you were here. That's it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, a lot of people are, like, real excited about, you know, coming down here, looking around. Uh, a lot of the folks from the Fairfax area coming in, getting ready to hike the trail or going out on Skyline Drive, looking for maps, looking for, you know, last minute things that sure, they need. Sure. We've talked to some people that are from outside the area, Alabama and Pennsylvania yeah. and uh, D.C. So yeah. it's great. Now, like with the trail opening, hopefully next year, um, we'll see, you know, several people from yeah. other countries. Uh, we had probably 11 different countries last year come through. Um, and all of them were raving about what Front Royal was, you know, how beautiful town it was, how friendly it was, um, the amenities. Um, so the trail and the reputation Front Royal has is growing. So well, we appreciate everything you do, Charlie. Thanks Th again. For thank you. All right, come on, I want to talk to you. Uh, yes. You're kind of a big kid. I'm a large, bald child, yes. <laughs> this thing you're driving here, let me look down here at it. And uh, 
this is kind of a one wheeler here. What do, what do they call these things? Well, you just said it. It's called a one wheel. Well, that was really ingenious. <laughs> that was a clever name. It didn't take yeah. long to think that up, did it? Yep. You know, I looked these things up online. They're not cheap. It's not a kid's toy. No, they're for a kid at heart toy. It is for a large, large kid. Yeah. But There's they are really neat because they they smoke right along. I mean, top if I it Bluetooth to my phone, if I change how the board handles, it will do 20 miles an hour. My gosh! And on a full charge, it does 15, 18 miles uphill, downhill, grass, gravel. It's amazing. Yeah, I well, turned over two. I just turned over 2,000 miles on it. It's got a it's got a, a mileage indicator on your phone. Bluetooth to your phone. Yeah. Oh, isn't that great? Now yeah. that's really high tech. Yeah, I love it. I ride it everywhere. I had to go over to Rural King the other day to get a basting brush for some barbecue chicken, and I rode this and. <laughs> it's called personal mobility. It is. It's my personal it's kind of like mobility a device. Sig Segway or something. There. Exactly. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Thanks. No, what happy do you, doing, What Mike? do you think of the Main Street closing up? Oh, there? we're closing it up. Well, no. I mean, you know, it's closed for the weekend. Oh, I love it's it every free. weekend. I, I see we you down here. The police haven't given you a ticket. No, nope. it's a personal mobility device. That's right. Authorized in the state of Virginia. That's All right. 50 there states, by the way. Exactly. I know. I looked into that when I was looking at a Segway. I thought, well, if you buy this thing and then you can't drive it anywhere, what's going to happen? First thing they did was go to every state and get the law changed. Yeah. So that was pretty ingenious on their So, part. yeah. No, nobody's ever said a word to me. It's nice having downtown uh, blocked off on the weekends. Um, it's nice this weekend, especially. There's a lot more activity. We've had some so-so weekends. Sure. But uh, well, it's when great it's 100 degrees, it's kind of hard. But the yeah. weather's good today. Well, we had Jerome Williams. He's coming back in September uh, in front of FRB, Front Row Brewing right. Company. And uh, that's always a good time. So, yeah, it's great. Bring everybody downtown. All right. Tell us who you are. Colin Stewart. All right. Thanks again. We With thatguysvoice.com. <laughs> and Apple. Always a plug. Always a plug. Always a plug. Well, you've just seen some video the Royal Examiner shot here on Main Street this Saturday evening from restaurants to mountain trails to uh, games and prizes and horses and, and of course Crazy Willie with all the things that goes down at CNC uh, Frozen Treats in the movie theater. All sorts of activities on this uh, Saturday evening. Next Saturday, well Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but on Saturday is the Artisan Trail. So on Main Street, um, on the sidewalks there will be maybe 16 to 20 artisans that will be doing painting, sculptures, uh, drawings, spray painting art, all sorts of things. So it'll be really a neat evening. I'll be going from 3 to 7. So put that on your schedule for next Saturday in downtown Front Royal. Tonight has been great. I appreciate everybody watching and I hope you enjoyed it. You could see uh, we had people from D.C., from Alabama, from Pennsylvania, uh, from Front Royal. And so it was really a great evening. Everyone enjoyed it. They really appreciate that the Main Street has been shut down on the weekend. They're really, now that the weather is nice, we had a few little sprinkles, but it really wasn't that bad and it stopped now. So I think the movie theater will be setting up in a few minutes to show uh, The Greatest Showman. They're going to be showing it indoors, outdoors. And this goes on every uh, weekend as well. So uh, plan to do it. Mark it down on your calendar. There's a lot of uh, families out and about, little kids, uh, people riding uh, skateboards up and down. So uh, we really appreciate uh, the, the public coming out and supporting our local businesses here on Main Street. Check it all out. A lot of things happening in Front Royal.